When an RS variable speed compressor is used in conjunction with a new or existing onload offload machine, a compressor sequencer is not necessarily required. The following presentation will show how to set up these machines to operate efficiently together. Before we begin, there are a couple of important points. The fixed speed machine needs to have onload offload controls, preferably with timed shutdown to minimize energy consumption. All pressures referred to in this presentation are gauge pressures. Let's look at sequencing the following 7 bar machines. A variable speed L75RS compressor producing 13.6 cubic meters per minute and a fixed speed L55 compressor producing 10.7 cubic meters per minute. In the morning we turn both compressors on to fill the system header. System header pressure is currently 0 bar. Both machines load fully and make a combined total of 24.3 cubic meters per minute. While there's currently no air demand, the system's header pressure continually rises. But what should we expect to happen to the compressors as the header pressure reaches just above 6 bar? Well, basically nothing. The fixed speed machine is below its unload pressure and the variable speed machine is below its target pressure. Airflow into the system is still 24.3 cubic meters per minute. The header pressure climbs to 6.5 bar. What do you think happens to the compressors at this stage? The fixed speed machine still runs at full load, whilst the variable speed machine slows down to maintain the 6.5 bar. Because there's still no air demand, the fixed speed machine is running fully loaded. The pressure continues to rise. The variable speed machine wants to control at 6.5 bar, so it idles back to its minimum speed. When the pressure reaches 6.9 bar, the fixed speed machine unloads and times out, while the variable speed machine continues to run at minimum speed. When the pressure reaches 7 bar, the variable speed machine enters into a blowdown cycle and 20 seconds later shuts down. With no system air demand, both compressors are shut down or in hot standby mode and wait for the pressure to fall. It's now 8 a.m. and production starts using 4.2 cubic meters per minute. The header pressure starts to fall. As the system pressure reaches 6.5 bar, the variable speed machine starts and speeds up to the correct RPM to match the 4.2 cubic meters per minute demand. As long as the plant air demand stays at or below 13.6 cubic meters per minute, the variable speed machine matches the air demand, keeping the header pressure constant to within plus 0 0.07 bar of the target. Now it's approaching 10.30 a.m. and some heavy production begins. The air demand reaches 16.3 cubic meters per minute. The variable speed machine can't keep up with the new demand and the pressure falls. Once the header reaches 6.2 bar, the fixed speed machine reloads, making 10.7 cubic meters per minute, with the variable speed machine making full flow. The air pressure once again rises. As the header pressure approaches 6.5 bar, the variable speed machine slows down, again matching the flow to stabilize 6.5 bar. The fixed speed machine is making 10.7 cubic meters per minute. The variable speed machine makes 5.6 cubic meters per minute. As long as the system demand stays within this window, between 10.8 and 24.3 cubic meters per minute, both compressors will run. 
At lunchtime, production slows, and demand drops to six cubic meters per minute. The fixed speed machine continues to produce its fixed 10.7 cubic meters per minute, so the pressure rises. The variable speed machine slows to its minimum speed, and the pressure climbs to 6.9 bar. The fixed speed machine unloads, and the pressure falls. As it reaches 6.5 bar, the variable speed machine speeds up again. To carry the six cubic meters per minute load. All through the day, the process repeats itself. At times, the variable speed machine is varying its speed to handle the demand all by itself, while the fixed speed machine is off. At other times, the fixed speed machine compressor is fully loaded, with the variable speed machine trimming to match the demand.